All right, I'm gonna apologize in advance for these little right angle headers because they are kind of a pain, but I got a couple tricks that will be helpful. All right, so get your little flush cutters and line up three, count off three, and rest rest them in the rest your flush cutter in the little notch in between there. Then, eh, eh, watch this. Stick it back in the bag like that. Because if you just clip this, it's gonna go flying off somewhere and you will lose it. So it helps if you put it inside the bag, then clip it. Clip there and it's in the bag. Sweet, caught it. Then dump it back out. Take three of your little uh, jumpers and connect it to this end, the straight end, one. Whoops, make sure you get both of them, I didn't. There we go, one, two, three. Leave those on there. All right, then place it on the board, okay? There we go. So now you can be reasonably sure that uh, the spacing is gonna be correct. Then you wanna tack a leg from the top. Right. Tack a leg from the top, good. Make sure it's straight. So you can sort of straighten it like that. Good, good, now it's nice and straight. Then flip it over, all right? Don't mind my unclipped resistor legs there, or whatever those are, capacitor legs. Then you can go ahead and solder the rest of the pins. All right, that's how you do it, little tricks. It's always the little tricks. Oh, here's another little trick. See my solder bridges there? Here's an easy way to uh, Get rid of solder bridges. I'm just gonna kiss those little pins with the tip. Yeah, boop, boop. There, see that? And I ate up that solder. And I'm just gonna clean up this little guy too. I'll add a little more solder there. Cool, teachable moment. How about that? All right, cool. That's it, right angle headers. So then go ahead and do the rest of those.